100. Identify the molecules with a dipole moment, and then we have SF4. Does SF4 have a dipole moment? Well, let's figure it out. The first thing is, well, what is a dipole moment? A dipole moment just means that somewhere in this molecule, there's an unequal pull of electrons. Now, a dipole moment can be visualized by playing tug of war with two people, right? Now, in the tug of war, this rope represents the electrons in a certain bond. Now, it doesn't really have to be a bond, but it's represented as just the electrons. And if one atom pulls the rope one way, it's an unequal distribution, right? Clearly, this one pulled the electrons away from the other person or the other atom. And when you have that unequal pulling, that's a dipole moment. And the only molecules, whoop, the only molecules that have a dipole moment are polar uh, molecules. So let's write that out. So polar molecules. Now, like we were just saying before, um, a dipole moment needs to have a polar bond. It's got to have a polar molecule. It has to have a unequal sharing. But I want to see those bonds, right? But if I just look at SF4, um, I can't really see the bonds. So with these types of questions, especially if they ask for a dipole moment, just take a second and draw the Lua structure. Even though it is one extra step, I promise you that by visualizing and seeing what these molecules actually look like in terms of Lua structure, you'll be able to answer a lot of questions. Dipole moment, polarity, bond polarity, molecular polarity, hybridization, uh, molecular geometry, it all gets answered in a Lua structure. Now there's tons of videos on this channel just designated to helping you draw the Lewis structure. We go step by step in those, but this one, we could play it as pause the video and see if you can draw out SF4 and then see if your Lewis structure matches mine. So to draw this, we have sulfur in the middle because fluorine is the most electronegative element, so it can't be in the middle. And then I'm just going to draw four fluorines around uh, the sulfur. Maybe one, two, three, and four. It does not matter, you know, where you put the fluorines. You could have put them one, two, three, and four. Um, maybe I'll do that <laughs> just to kind of go with the flow. So one, two, three, and four. Each fluorine has to have a single bond, mainly because it's got seven lone electrons, so it only needs that one more. And then each fluorine has the six dots around them to get the octet. So that fluorine's good. This fluorine is getting there. And last one. And now sulfur on the uh, periodic table, sulfur has six electrons. It used four of them, one, two, three, four, to make a bond. So it has one lone pair, five and six. Okay, here's my Lewis structure. We just have to figure out if this is a polar molecule. Now think back to SNAP, S-N-A-P. If your molecule is completely symmetrical, it is nonpolar. And nonpolar molecules have no dipole moments. So dipole goes with polar. If your molecule is asymmetrical, it is polar, so there has to be an unequal pull somewhere. And here's a really, really good trick to know, guys. It's not really a trick, but it's a, a common, uh, not a common theme, but like a common, you know, piece of information. That whenever your central atom has lone electrons, so the dots, it's automatically polar. So you might say to yourself, well, it's, you know, it's bound to four fluorine. That's all symmetrical, but uh-uh, it's got that one lone pair in the middle. And you could have one lone pair, you could have two, right? Doesn't really matter. You just have to see at least one electron. And that one in the center, and that's for sulfur, sulfur is the center here. We automatically know that this is a polar molecule. And since it is polar, pa molecule. Yep. This would have a dipole moment. 
and we answer the question. Let's color it in the favorite part of the video and then we are good. Okay. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. Um, good luck on your tests and quizzes. Keep studying hard and always keep learning. We got thousands of videos on the channel just for you guys to do that. So take advantage of it. I will talk to you in later lessons. Bye-bye.